Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Mike's Garage. So as you can see here, we got an SN95 Mustang. There's a little bit of different stuff going on here. Not your typical Mustang. So we'll show you what we have. As you can see, the uh, initial thing under the hood is a Ford Mod 6 ignition controller. Then we got ourselves an Edelbrock, Victor Jr., intake manifold, carburetor or EFI, and I'm using it as a carburetor. Uh, as you can see there's an Edelbrock performer there, as well as a uh, two inch spacer. So, it's been converted to carburetor, and it also has a uh, 5.4 liter in it, so that's what those little adapter plates are for. This is not the stock 4.6. The two valve 5.4 Triton offers a little bit more low end torque, well, rather about 50 foot pounds more torque than the 4.6 liter, which is a nice pickup from the stock setup. Uh, another thing I uh, really like about the engine is that it is cheaper than your typical Mustang 4.6 liter. Now, this is a race car, so it has some uh, damage on it. It needs a new fender as well as some trim right up there few other bits and pieces too. But anyway, I uh, got this motor, just got the swap done not too long ago, and uh, we were beating our heads up trying to figure out why we couldn't tune the carburetor, right? And it turns out the uh, guy that sold me the motor was a little bit less than honest, and it turns out that whole cylinder bank, all the piston rings are fried. So, this thing's coming out, and we got ourselves an LKQ motor here. It's a little dirty. In appearance but I just took one of the valve covers off and uh, it's actually pretty nice on the inside everything looks real clean no sludge buildup or anything like that so I'm gonna give it a good cleaning and uh, put some new valve cover gaskets on it and change over some stuff that I need from that car to this car or this engine and uh, we're gonna throw the motor in but anyway uh, I'll uh, go step by step over the swap and then we'll do some pull videos after it's done. So if you guys are thinking about doing the 5.4 liter swap, maybe a carburetor conversion, you can uh, see for yourself what kind of performance you can get out of set up something like this. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and uh, look forward to the next video of Mike's Garage.